areas where people don't recognize the value of you, you will shrink your gift to the size of what they can stand. And that's what causes anxiety and depression and stress because you have had to shrink or refuse to be small because you think small. I'm not shrinking my vision because you can't catch up. You either better roll with me or you gonna get rolled over. Hey Happy Wednesday. I didn't do any vlogging of any sort on my off days, girl. I just chilled, relaxed. I was a little under the weather and then stressed out about some stuff that really ain't got nothing to do with me, but that's just my nature. I just stress out over things, but yeah, we back at it. I'm in motion. We at work. I've been here since 3.30 a.m. So, uh, what time is it going to be? Yeah. Until 12. 2.30. So y'all, I have on my Shein coordinate set. Y'all seen this in my last Shein haul. When I tell you these coordinate sets come in for lunch during the 3 a.m. hour, girl, the best, the best thing. It takes all the guesswork out of getting dressed. So I live for a good coordinate set. The best. I, I got to get them in the other colors, too. I want navy blue and black neck. So definitely on my radar. If you ain't grab none, girl, grab some. We're carrying Miss Clemens today, Miss Telfar. It's growing on me as a tote bag. I think it's good for a work everyday bag to carry all your junk in. Last week it was Michael Kors. So we're back in our Telfar. Alright, so we're going to go get us a quick bite to eat from... A local donut shop before the shenanigans begin girl all right so we are headed to daylight donuts i love daylight donuts girl they are just so good guys we did not have to go far it is right over here in this little shopping plaza hopefully it's not packed and it doesn't look like it is right down here on the end daylight donuts One glaze and a sausage. Yes. That is it. All right, so I got one original glaze donut and I got two of the pigs and blanket situation. Oh, and then they heated them up. Girl, these are so delicious. So good. You don't even need jelly or honey with these. You can just eat these just like this. So bomb. And we're going to sit right here in the car and eat these before we go back. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. This bread is like so soft. It's almost like a donut, but without the glaze on it. Girl, what if they did glaze them? Oh my goodness, girl. Delicious. dust off any evidence all right all right no 
somebody I never know. <laughs> thank you for your cooperation, and thank you for making Huntsville International Airport a cleaner and healthier facility. Alright y'all, it's 2 o'clock, it is time to go home. This is my favorite direction. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I am a driving into work girl. I have just been doing a horrible job at recording this week, but my week has been going by so fast and it's been so drama filled. And all of this started last week, which is why I couldn't get up a weekly vlog because girl, my mind has just been uh, blown. So I had a friend to get himself into some mess, y'all. Some deep mess. And it went down for him um, yesterday made a week ago. So last Friday. So Friday to Friday this week. So he's been in his situation for a whole week. So it's just been a hot mess. When I tell you it has been the talk of the town, girl. The talk of the town. It is just crazy. And like I said, my mind is still blown. This is somebody that was kind of close to me that I can call on to help me do things. Even been on my channel before a couple of times. It's just crazy. Just can't get right. Just one of those. And I feel like everybody has that one friend or maybe even that one family, mem that family member that has like... A situation to where it's almost like the elevator doesn't go all the way to the top like there's low-key some type of uh, mental issues like they're not really capable of making the best decisions for themselves and they always find themselves in unfortunate situations as it pertains to their finances like they can't keep a place to stay forever getting evicted forever getting the car repo for some odd reason just always mismanaging the money too they're in a place where they're just rock bottom and needing 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 and you know and just doing the most and sleeping in the car when they have the car you know that type of person like i feel like somebody always has like that family member that friend that's always in one of those type and i'm that friend girl i'm not gonna hold, i know you're down right now and i know it's a horrible situation but i ain't gonna lie to you make it and make you feel like this is gonna work out for you in your favor girl if you're wrong you're just wrong you know i'm just that i'm gonna be real with you but the, like the situation looks bad um almost horrible even like i don't even know what's gonna come of this i don't know i i'm just so scared for him and i don't even know if he has the mental capacity to even be scared for himself like this is some mess mess it's like you put yourself in a situation where you've now lost it all i don't even know i, I just eventually um i want to get to a place where i can share the whole story with you and share what's been going on in our local media about this but uh the absolute worst and i wouldn't do that right now to him but you know Y'all, I'm trying to tell you, life just be lifing over here. I be wishing that I had one of them cute lives where I can just, you know, exercise my benefits, just jump on this plane and just do the most and just fly around. But girl, between work and dealing with my friends and, you know, life be life and girl. It's just one of those things. Well, um... He has the ability to contact me. So we've been talking. He thinks that his potential court date is um, towards the end of the month. And we're going to see if I can go and be a character witness. But I don't know if that's going to help this situation. I, 
<sighs> girl i don't even know but i can attest for his mental capacity he is a grown adult that thinks like a child though great heart though sweet person but just a little childish all right meanwhile i'm gonna show you my outfit of the day i'm wearing that fashion over slinky sets like the brown one from i think that was snow vlog but this is that super cute and comfortable girl with a blazer oh tail far back right <laughs> all right guys it is 5 15 so i'm about to head downstairs pack up my stuff and get ready to go home girl pick up some dinner and yeah i should have a delivery i got to show you this cool Bottega dupe glasses that I got from Amazon that everybody's been wearing. I got two pair. So I'm going to show you those and yeah, get ready for the weekend. Well, it is the weekend. Today is Saturday. But well, my day is off. I call those my weekend days because I'm off Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and get them up out of here. Start our weekend. So I'm gonna grab a quick coffee from White Bison. This is my first time trying a beverage from uh, this location, well, from this place ever. Trying the iced White Bison latte. Oh, it's super cute in there. We probably should have went in because it's open 24 hours. Hmm. We'll have to come back one day and check it out. Oh, we got a cute little patio area girl it's real cute over here now we done found us a new spot and it's close to the airport i'm feeling this already cute little location hey okay Ooh, thank you it's cute Thank you. You too. Uh, smells real good. Let me just pull up real quick. Oh yeah, it's real cute over here. But the crazy part about it is, it's attached to um, a twice daily convenience store, gas station, if you will. But it's real cute. Oh, MGG, this is perfect. I didn't ask for anything extra. I just wanted to try it. However, they just make them. Girl, this is perfect. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna have to come back over here in the morning and check it out in the daytime and look at the little cafe section. I'm happy about this. All right, so I done found me a new coffee shop. Because that seems to be a thing these days. <laughs> but all right, so now we're going to go home. I want to stop and actually get some dinner, but I don't really know what I want. So, and it's 7 on 1, so I got a little time to think about it. Plus, it's Saturday, so Outback stays open to 10. 
just in case I decide to scoot over there. Mm. Really nice. I can tell that the coffee is like tamp coffee because it has that nutty taste to it. This is so good. That's what I want. Whenever I move and get in my house, I want the coffee maker with the tamp. Happy Sunday, peeps. On my way to go eat. Gotta go. Running late. I'll see you when we get there. Before we go, I have to show you these sunglasses. This is the brand here. Botpuv of Amazon. And they have the cutest Bottega dupe sunglasses that all of the girlies are wearing. I picked up two pair. I'm going to go ahead and show you those now. And everything listed in today's video will be down below in that description box. So don't skip over it, okay? Now, with your order, you get the sunglasses. I already took one pair out the box. These are the cuties. Like I said, you've seen all the girlies wearing these. You get a little carrying bag with the logo and a polishing cloth for the lenses and i got a second pair and i got these in the black lenses each pair is like 14.99 nice gold frames these are the black these are real cute you can style these with almost anything and they'll look amazing as with the honey brown color, I think they're just called brown, but I always call these lenses honey brown. Let's go ahead and try these on. Because these are the ones that I was super excited about getting. Okay, they're cute or whatever. Cute to add some spice to any look. All right. Amazon pushed through $14.99. What you think? The direct link will be down below. I would keep these on, but it is a dreary, rainy day. And I'm just going down to the Outback. I ain't trying to do the most down at the People's Outback. But these are super cute, though. I like them. Hmm. Link is below. y'all my food was so good um i wanted to stop in the store but it is so cold and it's still raining girl i'm just ready to get to the house now watch some tv and relax because i am over it i am over this day y'all y'all look at my living room omgg is a mess so I'm going to spend the rest of my evening cleaning up in here. Because, girl, it's not that bad, though. It's really not. But, girl. But yeah, girl, while we were eating, one of he and I's mutual friends called to talk about the incident. You know, the incident that I was telling you about, about the friend who got himself into some, some mess, girl. Um, well, like I said, it's been made into a thing. Alabama has made it into a thing, girl. It has been televised and made into a little special or whatnot. So they was just asking me, how did I feel about it? We had a short discussion, but my friend got a little perturbed about it because he didn't feel like we should be talking about it. Like, if we're going to talk about it, we should be down there helping him. But there ain't nothing we can do. Nobody told him or made him go and do those things. He is not my responsibility, not my child, you know, and, and that's something that I cannot support. I can be your friend, you know, but I, you know, $6,000 bail is just not the charitable contribution that I'm trying to make, that anybody's trying to make, especially when we know that we're not going to get the money back in any form or fashion. So 
No. For one, we're not responsible for this grown man's actions. He is not my child. I am not his keeper. It is not my responsibility to be running and jumping to somebody's aid to spend my hard-earned money to get somebody out of jail who's made a stupid mistake. And the mistake is something that I just can never condone. I cannot, you know, support that type of behavior in any type of way. But... But I will still continue to be your friend and, you know, um, talk you through it and tell you to continue to remain prayerful because that's what you're going to need right now. But other than that, it's not my responsibility. And I don't think it's anybody else's responsibility. And because the thing has been made, you know, into such public spectacle, you can't expect anybody not to form opinions and talk about it because it's a thing it is now made public we can talk about it i just don't think it's fair for people to say that nobody should be talking about it when it's made to be a public you know affair and it's on the news and all of that people are going to talk you just can't expect people not to talk people are going to talk whether you up or whether you down that's just how life goes but like i said it's not like i'm out here just trying to you know I don't know. I don't know. I'm just being human. We're discussing the situation because we all know that he's not a bad person. He's definitely not a bad person. He's just somebody who made a really, really horrible mistake. Horrible mistake. A thoughtless, careless mistake. That's it. Um, But I'm still not in a position to give you a monetary support in the form of six thousand dollars if that makes any sense and i know that it does but yeah people are gonna talk that's just what it is you just shouldn't do things if you don't want people to talk about. and you know with being friends you just can't expect friends just to feel obligated to give you a quarter of their life savings like you you just can't do that that's just a little egregious and unreasonable to me now if they want to do it kudos to them big ups thank you jesus if they want to do something like that but you can't feel bad when they don't. I mean, it, life is about making decisions. Make sure y'all are out here making the, the best decisions for your life possible. Make sure you're just thinking things through. You just can't be out here doing stuff without thinking about the consequences. So make sure you think before you do, girl. Think. Because you're going to end up causing yourself a whole lot of financial problems, your family, and... Uh, your life, your rest of your life could be affected by that one dumb mistake. And that's horrible. But anyway, I got my work cut out for me. I'm going to go ahead and clean up, watch some TV, and edit this video get it up for y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.